Hello. Thanks for coming. We are going to Oops. Do one thing. We're gonna poke five three two eight zero comma zero. That should change the border color to black. And then we're gonna do the same except to five three two eight one. And that will change the interior color of the screen color to black. And I change the cursor color by pressing control two. I did. And now one more time, just in case anybody I've not really had a close up screen of this, we're gonna load the performance test. Now one must be careful. I can if you run it, when you have a good disc in there, it will ruin it. So we're gonna run. And this is testing a fifteen forty one disk drive. It is. There, that's better. So now I'm completely in the dark. So what this is doing, if you notice, this is on a Commodore 64 that I'm doing this, but it would run on a VIC-20. But um, it is in a mode that would work in 22 column mode. That's why there's so much black space on the other side. So what this does is you, from the 1541 test demo disk, you load in the performance test. But then you have to have a blank disk that you don't care about, that has nothing good on it that you want to put in. And then it will format or do new the disk, and then it will do all these tests. And does this mean that disk drive is perfect if it passed this? Well, no. but. Um, it gives a good indication if it's working okay and if things are okay. It does. It does indeed. So, as you see, it does a mechanical test. It opens a file, then it writes data to the file, and it closes that file. And it opens that file and reads the data. And then, in the most exciting part of this test, which is coming up, it will scratch that file and then it will force the head to go from one end to the other and you can hear this. And it has passed the performance test. How magical is that? So if you do have a 1541 that you're not sure of, if you do run it through this test, which is on the 1541 test demo disk, it'll give you an idea if it's working okay. And generally speaking, if it does pass this, there's a really good chance. It doesn't mean that the head might not be a little bit out of alignment, or the head might not need a little cleaning, or the drive might go a little wonky once it heats up. You just never know, you know. Um, anyway, it gives a good, a good indication. So it's a good thing to always keep a disc handy that you know 
if it has anything on it, it's uh, from previous tests and other things that you've done, or a blank disk, and, and preferably, of course, it's a disk that is actually working, because if the disk drive tries to go and format a disk that will not format, then it may appear that the disk drive is not working, when in fact you have a bad disk. So this program, um, the 1541 test demo disk, came with every disk drive from Commodore. It had other programs on it. It did. Now, pardon me while I'm in the dark. There. That is the short form for list. L, Shift, I. And I'm just going to let this scroll by. This program is in basic, so if you feel like it, and you want to learn about things, you can go in and read the program and see what it seems to be. Well, if you're not sure what it's doing, come look at it, take things apart. That was the cool thing about the old days, is, you know, people would write things and we would all learn together. We would. It's funny, even there I see it saying go sub, but I don't see any line numbers. So I'm not sure how that works, but maybe there's a... Maybe... I, I, I would have to look into that. Go sub means go to a subroutine. And generally, subroutines are in particular places where you would say, like, go sub 2000, 3000. Maybe it, maybe it goes just to the next one. I don't know. That is a fine question. See, this is a subroutine this thing reading data, um, and I know it's a subroutine because at the end of it, it says return, as in go back to where you came from or wherever you were sent. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. It's funny, even if you've been around things for a long time, there's always something to learn. So, once again, this, if you were testing a disk drive and you had a 1541 check, take your 1541 test demo disk, or if you don't have one, I'm sure there's a way either to order a disk um, online, or if you have one of the SD card readers to download it, but then if you had the SD card reader, you know, do you need a 1541? I don't know, but anyway, when you run it, remember, ins insert scratch disk in drive. Scratch disk means a good disk that is blank or will soon be blank because it will be and then press return it's funny though this disk drive seems to be working fine but I still don't like the headbang I just don't like it but it does seem to be okay it does so I'll let this run I'll let this test and uh, see what else Uh, we can get into there. As I, I said, there there was a disc that came with this, um, and I've looked at a couple of programs on there, including Mario Brothers. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do in Mario Brothers. I just don't. But I would like to see about that. Another way to test a disc drive. is um, to load up something that will use the drive quite a bit. And one of the things I have found that is good for testing is there are a variety of disks and programs and such that have um, like music of various sorts. And they have small files and they'll play the song and then they'll load again, and then they'll play the song and they'll load another, and they'll play the song and then they'll load another. And this is, um, well, it's a good torture test. I, I sometimes, I'm afraid to do torture tests because, of course, something might die, but uh, that's the idea, isn't it? Anyway, once this finishes, we'll finish this up and assume that this drive is good, but then I may, in fact, look for something else to test on it. I might. So, we are open.
opening, we are writing, we are closing, we are reading. We are. Keeping in mind, this program will work, I know. It'll work on a dead bone stock VIC-20, which is why uh, every byte, every character, every anything is important. Because a VIC-20 has very, very, very little memory, as you know. So, soon this will be done, and we will move on to another episode. At least that is the plan. Oh, okay, so it is scratching the file that it opened and wrote to and read from to make sure it's all good, and it can scratch it. And now, the heads they move, the heads they go, and it's all good. So, stay tuned for more testing. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.